The building of the trebuchet is a whole wide project involving many hands and minds. We're about to meet the person managing the project who is also responsible for conceptualizing the project. Right, I'm here with Alice Stevenson, um, Senior Manager of Family Programs, and we're here to talk about the Trebuchet Project. Um, Alice, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about the Trebuchet Project and how did the idea come about? So the idea was um, slowly kind of grew out of a couple conversations where we were talking about something fun we could do this fall, um, and something that we hadn't done before, um, something that could be produced in-house, and something that would have a lot of programming elements to it. And um, we actually can't remember who's the first person to mention <laughs> catapults, <laughs> but as soon as it was mentioned, um, I really wanted to do it, and I wanted to do it on a large scale. We're really lucky because we have some backyard space mm -hmm. here, yeah. a backfield, and um, I just really feel, you know, kids in New York don't really see that kind of large scale stuff right. that maybe if you're in a more rural area or suburban, you have space to do that, mm -hmm. and so that kids in New York haven't had a chance to see things, right. you know, hurled across a big field. <laughs> There's such like great solid science behind it and it's one of the, just like the exhibits that we have on the floor in the hall, it's one of those um, great things that the science content is there and when um, you watch it happen, the science is apparent. So kind of through doing it or watching it, the science comes out. And so I think it's a great fit for, and other people here feel really strongly about using it for things like professional development with teachers, mm -hmm. for student programs, for virtual visits. So once we have it, I'm happy to use it again <laughs> next fall for family programming, but I'm hoping that other departments within education start to use it for their programming too. And then there were a couple other things that just kind of started to fall together. I went to a conference and I saw um, this gentleman, William Gerstel, speak, and he's written a couple of books just about how um, young kids really need to to have this kind of exploration and, and kind of slightly dangerous exploration right. um, in a safe way. And he's written a book about backyard ballistics as well as how to build your own catapult. And, and he was really making a strong um, push for, you know, we need to have our kids be exposed to these things because there's really solid science behind it. There's solid engineering. There's a lot they can learn. Um, and it just felt like a perfect chance for us to, to kind of step up and have our exhibits guys work on it and build a big catapult <laughs> so we can throw things. That's always fun. <laughs> awesome. Um, what kind of planning has gone into it, uh, this so far? Obviously we had to have buy-in from exhibits because they were the guys who were going to build it. Mm -hmm. And so they were really excited about it. They um, did a lot of prototyping, not just um, building smaller models in the PVC pipe model that right. you've seen. Um, but also got stuff um, online or programs that they could use to prototype. So they they started this process in spring, like really starting to, to think about this and plan out like what's the math behind it too so we don't throw it too far and right. hit something we're not supposed to hit. Lots of planning and hard work has already gotten to this project. We've gotten the opportunity to see the prototype and the development. Let's take a look and see what else we can catch. 